Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks for sticking around for the night. The the Ireland contracting nightly sports call right here on Pittsburgh CW. So give us a call at 412-575-2600 on the Bordas and Bordas hotline. And we have a lot to talk about here tonight. And Chris Muller is over at the 93.7 The Fan Cam to do some of the talking on this show. And uh, Chris, how you doing, first of all? Richie, I'm wonderful. How are you? Uh, I think we are at the same place tonight uh, beforehand. Uh, but we were like ships passing in the night. I made a cameo appearance apparently just after you left at a little soiree. Well, Bob told me you were going out to Bob Pompiani had a little get together uh, up at that Iron Rock, um, Iron Rock restaurant. Tap house, yeah. Tap house. Uh, it, it's a great place, fantastic place up there in Greensburg, right outside of Steelers training camp. Had fabulous food. They, did you have some of that seafood that they had up there? But Bob told me you were coming, and I waited and waited and waited. And it was 8.30, and I said, I have, to get, I have to get out of here. I get to get back to the station. Well, that's funny, Richie. I showed up at 8.31, so it sounds like we really were ships passing <laughs> in the night. We were. Uh, but, but I wasn't going to be denied my chance to talk sports with you, and I'm assuming right now you don't have bucko fever. Is that a safe assumption? That is a safe assumption. Um, you know, but I, I, look, I'm encouraged. I like some things. I've seen some things By the last what? couple days. Well, I like the fact that they're bringing some of the younger guys up. I like some of the younger guys that are playing right now. Quinn Priester, you know, he, he's had started four games. He's given up a lot of runs, but I think he's a guy that's going to find his way and be in that rotation. I like what I see from him. Um, I, I, obviously, I like Wait, where hold on, hold Brian on, Hayes hold on. is I right now. You. Go ahead. Richie, Quinn Priester's thrown five starts in the major leagues. Uh, 8.69 8. ERA. I know. No. You're going to. It's, it's up. It went up yeah. tonight. It's up to 875. Like, I have real concerns about his ability to be anything other than a fourth or fifth starter because it does not appear that his money pitch, a curveball, is something he trusts at the big league level. Uh, and I think that that should be an early, maybe not alarming sign for Pirates fans, but certainly a concerning sign for a guy that's still seen as a, I think, a top 50 prospect and one of their best prospects. I mean, this is somebody that you would expect would maybe come up and show even major league hitters why he's supposed to be a big time prospect. But I don't know, you can be encouraged all you want by some things about him, but other than that first nine up, nine down in his very first start, uh, teams seem to have figured him out quickly that he can't throw the ball by anybody and that he doesn't seem to have the consistent enough location to keep hitters off balance. Well, I'm encouraged. He figured it out all the way through. I mean, this is his first chance in the majors and I never, thought anything more than a third starter for him anyways. I, I, I was hoping that he would be a good third starter. Um, hopefully he can get to that point. Uh, but, you know, if he's a third or a fourth guy, they got to get better pitching. They got to get better. And this is why I'm saying is, look, I, I'm not rooting against the Pirates, but I don't mind if they're losing right now. But if you start to see some improvements from, from players, because I want them to get the highest possible draft pick that they can next year, because obviously this year they're not going to compete for anything outside of, uh, what, fourth in a division or third in a division well, or whatever. I, man, I, I, I can't square what you're saying there with what they've been saying, which is Ben Charrington seeming to suggest with some real urgency, a, a rare sort of departure from boilerplate stuff from Ben Charrington that they need to win and soon, meaning like next year. Uh, and Listen, I have gone to the well that you just went to about, I don't care if the team loses the game, if the right players are improving. Well, the right players are going backwards right now. What's happening with Mitch Keller? He can't seem to get anybody out with consistency. He's taken a clear declining turn uh, since the All-Star break. Priester, we just mentioned. You know, Brian Hayes has home runs in back-to-back -back games. I don't know about you, I'm holding my breath for the next uh, time his back mm. flares up. Uh, so, I mean... It's very difficult for me, even with this team until recently, until these last two games, really, these tough losses, having played decent baseball after the All-Star break, it's really tough for me to look at them and see long-term sustainable signs of growth. I mean, where is the starting pitching that you expect to see? Paul Skeens hasn't thrown a professional pitch yet. Keller, I just said what he's all about right now. Priester, Contreras, go down the line. 
It's either the guy that we're putting the most stock in is somebody that literally has not played professional baseball yet. Yeah, I, I mean, I was looking at 2024. Um, I, am I optimistic about 2024 of them being a competitive wild card team? I don't know if I'm optimistic, but I thought they would be better than 500. Uh, looking at this year, I was very optimistic at the beginning of the year, but I like to see that the bats are going now. They're heating up. They're scoring runs. It, the big problem, like you just said, is the pitching. Um, so Quinn Priester, not the game that you wanted to see him out there tonight. I mean, you look at his record. He was 2-1 and one up until today, 869 ERA. That's a big – you circle that one right there, right? Um, and and – you're, like you said, he has a problem getting through the rotation. The velocity isn't there to maybe be a one-two guy. But what I'm encouraged about is that there is some promise. I mean, he's done it at every level. So let's just give him some time. I think time is the, is the key word here. The time was there for Mitch Keller until up until recently. Um, we saw some good things from him. So uh, maybe it was a blessing in disguise they didn't sign him to a long-term deal. As one of our great witticists, the late Yogi Berra said, mm. when it comes to all these guys and the team's fortunes in terms of what they want to be next year, Richie, it's getting late early out there. Ha, <laughs> okay, that's a good one. All right, speaking of getting late early, I was at Steelers training camp all day. Uh, we got to take a break right now, but I want to touch on some things when we come back. So back in a couple minutes, 412-575-2600. The phone lines are open. 